The law of the conservation of energy states that energy cannot be created or destroyed, merely transformed from one form to another. For this reason, many physicists in industry spend their time working out how to reduce unwanted energy transfers in systems. For example, how to stop heat escaping. We're going to investigate that today using this equipment here. Now we have to decide one independent variable that we change, and today that's going to be changing the material covering a beaker. I have three beakers here, one covered with bubble wrap, one covered with tinfoil, and one covered in black paper. Every other variable in this investigation has to stay the same. So each of these beakers is identical. They look like this. They're going to be filled with hot water at the same temperature and to the same level. They'll also be left for the same amount of time to cool down. The one which cools down the least will be covered in the best insulator, because an insulator is simply a material that doesn't let heat flow through it easily. Now, I'm going to fill up these beakers to exactly 200 millilitres each. I'm using the scale on the inside of the beaker that you can't see because it's covered by the material. I'm going to quickly place an insulating lid made out of cardboard on each beaker with the thermometer inside the correct way round. Now to work out a change in temperature, I need to find a starting or initial temperature. So after giving these a couple of seconds to stabilise, I should be able to see the temperature of this water. Currently, for each of these, the water is at 80 degrees Celsius. All I need to do now is press the stop clock and leave it for a set amount of time to cool down. Anywhere between 5 and 15 minutes should work quite well. We'll come back to them at that point and see which one has decreased in temperature the most. So, the experiment's been running now for about 10 minutes, so we can check our temperatures and see how much they've changed. Now, if I look at the bubble wrap, that's gone down to 68 degrees Celsius. If I look at the tin foil, that's gone to about 70 degrees Celsius. And if I look at the black paper, that's gone to about 66 degrees Celsius. Now remember, these all started at 80 degrees Celsius. So we've had a 12, 10 and 14 degrees Celsius change. The one that changed the least, the tin foil, is therefore the best insulator. Black paper is the worst. Now, whenever you do an experiment looking into thermal insulation, you'll probably measure the temperature change as your dependent variable. But your independent variable could be a variety of things. For example, you could use the size of the beaker and keep the amount of water in each one the same. Or you could change the thickness of material. As long as you keep every other variable controlled and keep it the same, your experiment should be valid.